So last night at quarter past eight, we all got text messages saying that our flight out of Gold Coast Airport today for 12.20 or whatever time it was, was cancelled. So after an hour of being on the phone with the most unhelpful staff members I've ever spoken to in my life, poor Isabel literally was just lied to back and forth repeatedly. Um, anyway, we finally spoke to someone that was reasonably helpful and we got onto a flight now from Brisbane, which is an hour drive from us. Well, how are we going to get there? I don't know. Got onto a flight from Brisbane at 1.10 this afternoon. Message last night, 11 p.m. We're asleep because we think everything's all fine. Gonna go home in the morning. So everyone that's rescheduled to these other flights has probably been cancelled as well. We're going to be waiting over at Brisbane Airport today. So hopefully the flight that we're moved on to now... <clears throat> at 5.20 tonight isn't cancelled because it probably will be. At the airport and our third flight just got cancelled. It's getting dark but we're just starting out the vlog. Welcome back to the vlog guys. It is our last day in Queensland. Starting off the vlog pretty late. It's 5.37. Um, today we went over to Bris Vegas, Brisbane to see my beautiful friend Emily and her partner Dave. And we just hung out with them today so I didn't vlog because I just wanted to spend some quality time with them. And um, yeah, we're back. We've sort of just been vegetables for the last two hours. Um, it was like an hour and 15 minute drive over there and then the same back. Um, we just went and checked out their place. They bought a house over there and went shopping. I don't know why I'm like out of breath right now, um, but I just got changed. I could not be bothered to put makeup on right now. We're gonna go out to dinner on our last night on the Gold Coast. I think the place is called like California Taco or something. It's meant to be like the best um, Mexican on the Gold Coast. I'm so brain dead right now. I'm just thinking about tomorrow, like ugh, so much traveling to do tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna leave here bright and early in the morning. Ooh. Isabel wants to be on the vlog when she runs away. Yeah, leaving bright and early tomorrow. Gotta get the car back by 10. Um, and then they drive us over to the airport and then our flight is at like 12.30 or something. So I don't know, it'd be a busy morning. Um, I bought a new hat today that I've already packed away so I can't show you guys and I also got had to get another bag because there's no way everything was going to fit into the bag that I brought over. So I just bought the like a mini version of my big Disney bag. This is already the medium sized one. There is one that's bigger than this again. Um, I've got the medium one and now the small one too and it's got the little wheels um, on the bottom and you can pull up the handle on the front. I think it's a really good size. I think I'll use it a lot, but right now it's literally just got beach towels in it, all the mugs that I bought from Movie World, um, two hats, the photo frames I got from Movie World, some more photos, um, some things I bought from Bonds today, um, and I think that's pretty much it. It filled up pretty quick, <laughs> but there is a lot of stuff in there. But yeah, it's been a really good day. It was really good to see her. I will see her again in another month. She's going to be coming back down home. I can't wait. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to head off. It's now quarter to six. So yeah, hopefully this place is good. I'm pretty keen for some fish tacos and like a shrimp taco is what it's called on the menu. So Fingers crossed, and that is good. <laughs> yes. Should we get a gang selfie on the last night? Oh. Boring gang. Are we right down? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to get one of these bikes and uh, I need to remind myself that this is the website. What does that say? Pedalbikes.com.au? I'm going to go with it. Pedalbikes.com.au. That's... I really want one of those. Oh, Uptown. It also says Uptown. I wonder if that means anything. I really want one of these but in like a mint colour. How cute. They've got gears and everything. <laughs> I need to not creep around people's property in car parks. They're gonna leave without me.
No. What are you going to get, Michael? I don't know. I'm going to struggle with that. Yeah, Porsche is His dad's favorite place in the world. KFC. Sizzler. <laughs> Two of his favorites in the one spot. KFC and Sizzler. He's hungry, Jack. Sizzler. There you go, Dad. All that's missing is hungry, Jack. You're dead, right, Clay? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't know what to do. Oh. <laughs> we just need to. We just need to put hungry Jacks right there, and then we can convince Dad to move here. He wouldn't know what to do. There you go, Dad. Sizzler. It'd be so funny if Hungry Jacks was just like right there. I've never seen a high smile shop in real life until now. How weird is that? So random. Here's our buildings. Aren't they so pretty? Which one are we in? We're in this one. We're back from dinner. It was really good. I got the shrimp tacos and fish tacos. And they come out with like homemade corn chips and... Salsa, is that what it's called? Chopped up tomatoes and onions and stuff. Um, we're gonna go check out the Zen Garden in our building. Couldn't think of what this thing is called. <laughs> because we haven't gone and looked at it yet, but we can kind of see it from our room. There's like a big Buddha statue down there, so we're gonna go have a look. It stopped raining finally. <laughs> it is so windy and cold. Hello, big Buddha. He is so pretty. Should we rub his tummy? Try to get some good luck. Wow, it's kind of creepy rubbing something this big with big nipples. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Our building, guys, is literally huge. It's scary. We're on the 18th level. It's so insane. And there's something flying in between by the looks of it. Maybe not. I think that's just the camera. So our flight for tomorrow just got cancelled and the guy on the phone just got every excuse as to why he can't put us on a different flight. Jet Star. So, um, can we have a phone number that we can call you back? We're gonna call you back instantly once the supervisor is available. So I'd really like to get this sorted now because this flight is supposed to be in less than 24 hours. Yep. And I, I would like to get on one of those flights. Yes, we know it, but there's no supervisor available for you now. And I don't care if there's a supervisor not available now. I want to speak to someone who can fix the problem. And I'm not hanging up until I speak to someone that will fix this and put them on those seats that are showing available. No, they won't call back. No, I will never fly Jetstar ever again. Good morning, guys. Excuse the way I look. I haven't been awake that long. I'm still in my PJs, have not brushed my hair or anything. Um, one thing I have been doing, <laughs> a bit on hold to Jetstar now. I haven't even spoken to a person for 25 minutes. Have a look. So last night we stayed on hold to them for like an hour. I was just ranting about this on my Snapchat. Um, we were talking to them for over an hour. Poor Isabel was just getting lied to constantly by this dickhead representative from the hell he was. She got transferred through to another person and was told that he was a supervisor and he obviously wasn't and then she finally got transferred through to a supervisor who seemed to have solved the issue. So we're supposed to be flying out of um, Gold Coast Airport, but we were moved over to Brisbane, so it's about an hour drive from here. We were like, okay, we'll just get an Uber over there. It was gonna be like $200 for the Uber. We were like, okay, just like 50 each. Um, so yeah, we thought it was all good. Went to bed thinking it was all sorted. Wake up this morning to text messages that came through at 11 p.m. last night saying that our flight for 1.10 today had been canceled. Again, so two cancelled flights, incredible. Um, so you can sort of like reschedule it from your phone. So we did that. So we rescheduled one for 5:20 tonight or something, which is just ridiculous. 
Karen. So, here's Maka. Oh, you know, alright, Yeah, chilling. So, there is a Qantas flight, if you don't know. Jetstar is owned by Qantas. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's just stretching. Yeah. There's a Qantas flight at. These sessions expired, so you can't see anything anymore, but I took a screenshot. <laughs> so, there is a. Gold Coast to Sydney Airport, uh, yeah, Gold Coast to Sydney flight that leaves at 11.50, arrives there at 1.20. It would be $623 each, so it's a total of $2,489 if you were to pay for it. <coughs> but, um, I'm going to see if they can move us onto this flight because two cancelled flights is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We're back home. Somehow the uh, flowers that Caitlin gave me a week ago are still living. I'm so happy. And also my 24 blades are somehow also still floating. They've been pumped up for over a week, you guys. What the heck? Anyway, I need to just sit down for a minute, I think. So, I stopped vlogging today because today turned out extremely stressful. We had three canceled flights in one day our original flight was for 12 20 today the first of october to fly out of gold coast airport that flight was cancelled due to staffing issues um then after being on the phone as you guys saw we got absolutely nowhere with them um ended up speaking to a supervisor after just a little load of crap anyway um long story short so we switched airports. We decided to go to Brisbane Airport, which if you don't know, is just over an hour away from Queensland, Gold Coast Airport. God, what am I saying? I need to go to bed. So Brisbane Airport is like an hour and 16 minutes or something from um, Gold Coast Airport. There's another message. 11 p.m. last night. Our flight is cancelled again. Our replacement flight is now cancelled from an airport that we booked in at an hour away. It's a nightmare. We both rescheduled that at about 5 o'clock this morning, like 5 a.m. this morning. We both rescheduled that as quickly as you could because if you don't do it quickly, you miss out. That's it. Like, So we rescheduled onto one for 5.30 this afternoon. We both got on there because me and Clay and Isabel and Michael were all trying to travel together, obviously, but we're under different bookings. Anyway, so we get up this morning, go and take the rental car back, which is um, at Coolangatta, like Gold Coast Airport. And they give you a free shuttle from the like place to keep the cars over to Gold Coast Airport. So we got to the airport knowing that we didn't have a flight there today and knowing that all the flights out from there today to Sydney did not exist. So... We decided to get an Uber, which was $160. Luckily, there was four of us, so we just split it. It was like 41 each or something. Um, anyway, sat in the Uber for an, over an hour, got to the airport, and we're waiting there. And what were we doing? It was about 11, I think, when we got there. We were like, oh my god, we've got ages. So our friend Dave and Emily, if you guys have seen them in the vlogs from last time I went to Queensland. I didn't stick them in the vlogs this time. I just wanted to spend time with them when we saw them yesterday. But anyway, so Dave came over to pick us up. And I kid you not, about two minutes before he freaking got there. So he's they're still like 45 minutes from the airport. It was so nice of them. It was so nice of Dave and Emily was at work. It was so nice of them to even come and get us. Anyway. So two minutes before I get there, like I was saying, what do we get? A third message saying that our freaking second, no, is it? Yeah, second replacement flight is cancelled. So we've had three cancelled flights. It's a freaking nightmare. Jetstar is a nightmare. So Dave's about five minutes away from pulling up to Pixar because we're going to go just hang out with him since we don't want to sit at the airport all day, clearly. We'll just go back to theirs and play with cats and the dogs and guinea pigs and everything. Um, yeah, if flight gets cancelled and at that point we're freaking out because we, when you get the message there's a link in it and you can try to reschedule the flight from the link and you click the link and it comes up saying 
there's no available flights out of Brisbane Airport until tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., 6.30, whatever it was. And we were just like, I was like, it's a joke. It is a joke. Like, cancel the flight once, but don't go canceling people's replacement flights. And mind you, this is happening out of Gold Coast Airport and Brisbane Airport. I was annoyed by then. Like, I kind of just get upset about things first and then get ticked off if they just keep getting pushed and pushed and pushed. And that's just what was happening. They're just, I feel like they're really just testing us. And I feel so bad for all the families that would be traveling. Like it's school holidays and you cancel flights, like, and then you cancel replacement flights. So we were at that point waiting at the front for Dave to come get us. I really suck at telling stories, sorry. but <laughs> So we're out the front, which is about probably only 60 meters from the entrance. So we went back in, back across the road, past the taxis and over, line up for the service desk. And because everyone's flight's been canceled, and guess what? Jetstar also had an outage at the airport, so none of their bag check-ins were working, none of their computers were working, they were doing everything the old school way, the guy said, as he was walking through the line to see, I don't even know what he was doing, but he was literally just walking past everyone laughing, like, what is wrong with you? Anyway, so we get to the service desk after like, staying there for 15 minutes, and the girl was actually so helpful. We told her what the go was and she straight away, she hardly even spoke to us really, she just straight away stuck us onto a Qantas flight. If you don't know, Qantas and Jetstar are linked together, but if you ever have an issue and you actually need to be transferred onto a different flight, they'll say they're not linked together and that they're completely different, not affiliated companies. But um, yeah, she switched us straight over to a Qantas flight for three, 10 or something, I think it departed. So we boarded at quarter two, three, I think that's right. It's been a long day, you guys. And at that point, I had to go back out and be like, oh my God, Dave, I'm so sorry. You just drove 45 minutes to get here and we're not coming with you. I'm so sorry. Ugh. I literally was just holding back tears at that point. Anyway, we got onto that flight, we came home. We should have been back home at about six. So we get to Sydney airport and then we have to drive back here, which which is about four hours from Sydney. We don't live anywhere near the city, guys. I think a lot of people just assume if you're Australian, you must live in Sydney. You know. <laughs> no. That is my rant. Three cancelled flights in one day. I cannot believe it. I just can't believe it. This is a warning. Guys, don't, don't buy cheap flights from Jetstar. That's it. Don't fly with Jetstar if you can help it. <laughs> I know I never will ever again. I literally only flew with them because they're cheap and you can have to pay their flights. God, it sounds like a freaking promotion, but don't do it. Just save the extra money and go with someone else. Anyone else except Tiger. <sighs> it has been a day. It has been a day. I'm so excited to unpack all my shit. It's just sitting over there. Hello, suitcases. I still have my birthday cards up there. <laughs> We're back home. Everyone's good. We're all good. We're just very, very tired. And poor Isabel has to work tomorrow. Same as Clay. <sighs> I have never had an issue like this in my life. People always tell me don't fly with Jetstar. They call them a shit star. Blah, 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 blah. And I was always like, I've never had any issues with them. I think they're fine. Never again. It's funny how like you can have a completely fine experience with the company forever. But as soon as they mess up, you just like, never again. Everyone told me. I sure listened. Anyway, we're back. And I'm going to, oh my God, I love that. I have not seen you for like a week. If you guys haven't seen my birthday vlog, go check it out because it's like seriously the best present ever. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I think that's enough negativity. I will not speak of it again and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've ever had any issues like this because it's seriously such a learning curve and it's also just a freaking nightmare. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Hey guys, Tori from the future here in my pink dressing gown. I just wanted to pop on here quickly and let you guys know that we did actually have a happy ending to this day. Um, it's been about four or three weeks. No, it's been over a month since we went away. And um, 
I'm just now editing this vlog. Sorry, these are so behind. But anyway, I wanted to quickly pop on here and let you guys know. Jetstar did refund our Uber ride. It was $160. They refunded that to us pretty much straight away. Um, Isabel has fully been refunded for her flights. And apparently, I'm also being fully refunded for my flights. So I did send an email. Isabel's got no money back. We actually have got the Uber money back as well. Um... So just to clear that up, we have the money back from the Uber ride. Isabel has her money back from the Jetstar flights. I am being refunded. I'm still yet to see it. They did say to allow up to 15 business days. It's only been about five. So hopefully within the next two weeks, I should have my money back from these flights, which we're pretty happy about considering the hell we went through. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know. Thanks so much for watching.